hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is goodness john and today i'm going to be showing us how to make a petticoat so a petticoat is a structure structure that goes under a ball skirt to give it that um ball big structure so it, it's sometimes called a hoop skirt uh it's a petticoat so that's all i'm going to be making today so this is going to be my first video in my wedding dress series so if you're interested in learning how to make a wedding dress just follow these videos and i'll try to be as explicit as possible give as much detail as possible so it's easy to follow and if you have any questions about anything just put in the comment section and i'll be able to come back to give you provide more clarity on a question so the measurements we're going to need for the petticoat are the round hip measurement the waist to hip measurement so the length the distance between the waist and the hips and then the skirt length the hoop skirt length so the hoop skirt length is going to go from the waist to the ankle so it shouldn't be longer than the ankle because the ball skirt is going to go over it, it should just be at the ankle it could be a few inches shorter than the ankle but not longer than the ankle length so those are the measurements we would need if you have any questions don't forget to comment that and i'll be able to come back to it please like comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever i post a new video let's get into the video so these are the measurements i'll be using the round hip is 40 the length is 40 inches the waist the length is 8 inches so my petticoat is going to be more like it's going to look like an a line close and then it's going to be divided into layers so each layer on each layer there's going to be steel boning on it as well to give it the structure so that'll be the waist the layers the length so i'm going to use divide it's going to be made up of four panels so four different panels cut out four panels cut out and i'll join all four panels together so how we get the four panels the top area is going to be the my round hip divided by four then i'll divide the measurement by two because we'll be cutting this shape by um unfold so when you open it up it's going to be round hip divided by four and then the bottom will be the hip measurement so the full hip measurement divided by two so when you open it up it's going to be the round hip measurements for each panel so each panel the top is going to be the round hip divided by four and the bottom is going to be the hip is going to be the hip divided by two so if you are using multiple panels like six panels you do round hip divided by six and then we'll add allowance at the side because you're going to be joining so this is the minimum measurement you need like if you're doing the panel so the hip divided by whatever number of panels you're using at the at the waist and then at the bottom each panel should be the the round hip measurements when you open it up it could be more so it's dependent on how big you want your petticoat to be but this is the minimum you should use it should be smaller than this okay so after doing that based on my measurements my top is going to be five and a half and the bottom is going to be 20 and a half but i'm going to add a few inches to this measurement because i want it slightly bigger so when i am cutting mine my my bottom is 30 is 29 inches and the top is uh, i think it's seven inches so i added two inches so the, your bottom circumference you can go up to 80 inches for each panel the bottom circumference so like when it's on fold it's 40 inches but when it's opened up it could be 80 inches for each panel so it's dependent on how big now to drafting the pattern so i'll be drafting this on fold so on my waist measurements i cut 10 inches i eventually reduced this to seven because i didn't like the way the shape was looking it was the allowance and then the length is 40 inches don't forget to remove your waistband because you're going to have waistband on this so one and a half inch one and a half from the full length and then the bottom part i'm just taking the same measurement i took the length so i have equal uh, measurements the bottom part my bottom part is going to be 29 30 to 29 and a half plus my allowance so i'll just mark that and then connect it to the the waistline i marked initially so i have like a uh will i say right angle right angle with a flattened top 
so i don't know what that shape is but you understand what i mean so it's going to be a right angle with a flat and stuff when you're drawing this shape out it has to look like it's supposed to be flared out if it's if the difference between the top and the bottom is not so much you're going to have more like a bucket than an umbrella so like a bucket shape than an umbrella shape so you have to be careful that's why i had to reduce three inches of the top so it's more flayed out from the top to have more of an umbrella shape so at that edge sorry my camera didn't capture that area so i took out one inch from the bottom of the um straight line just so that it's curves just to remove that sharp um, end at the end of where the um, diagonal line joins the bottom so it's just a slight curve i took one inch i measured one inch up the diagonal line and then used my curved ruler to connect that to the length of the um, petticoat just so i have a slight curve at the end so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my waist to hip measurement which i have as eight inches so when i was measuring i forgot to take out my waistband measurement which is one and a half so minus one and a half should have been eight if you forget that it's going to make your petticoat too long so don't forget to remove your waistband measurement okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to divide the layers i'm going to have on petticoat so my layers is going to start from that hip measurement to the bottom so i want seven layers you can decide you want three so you divide what is left by by the measurement so i divided mine by seven so when when i divided that by seven i had five inches so the gap between each line is five inches so i mark five inches on the diagonal path and just measure that and just mark that across so i'll go ahead and cut out the pattern and then uh, i'll go i'll go ahead and cut this on the main fabric so the fabric i'm going to be using is like a, it's lining silky kind of fabric it's just a light fabric don't use, don't use a thick fabric when you're doing this just use a light fabric so i've placed the fabric and i'm going to just cut out what my measurement is and then mark out those five inches lines that i marked on the paper i'll just notch those out okay i hope this has been helpful so far i hope i haven't confused you i hope this has been clear and easy to follow um please like comment subscribe and turn up the notification bell so you're notified whenever i post a new video so the next video will be how to sew the petticoat as i said initially it's going to be a wedding dress series so if you're interested in learning how to make your wedding dress please follow the series subscribe turn the notification bell so you're notified when i post whenever i post the next video okay so i've cut out the pattern and then i will notch those marked parts just as i said initially so i'll just um notch it so when it's time to couple it's easy for me to um find where the lines are where i initially marked so i don't have to repeat this so this video is just to give you a guide you don't have to follow everything i've just done you can alter it in or two and see how that comes out and then you can know what to change in when you're trying the next one just just a guide this is just a guide so thank you for watching i hope this has been helpful all right bye guys see you in my next video